What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John C4, and today we're gonna to be talking about Battlefield 1. We are currently a few days away from the multiplayer showing from EA. It's gonna be an insane day, man. They're gonna live stream it at the Battlefield YouTube channel, and they're gonna show us the maps, they're gonna show us the weapons, the vehicles, the equipment, everything. So I cannot wait to see what's gonna be going on with this game, man. It's gonna be an insane time, you know, World War One. Man, I cannot wait to see what the fuck is up in the multiplayer. So anyways, moving on to the main topic of today, which is about what I want and what I don't want for Battlefield 1. And before we get into the discussion, I want to say this real quick, because I've been seeing a lot of problems here on my channel, what's been going on with the Battlefield 1 fanboys. So Battlefield 1 fanboys, I suggest to watch the whole video before you start judging. You see, in the past one week and a half, I think I uploaded two different videos called Battlefield 1 Will Suck and the other one Battlefield 1 is a Broken Mess. You see, in those two videos, I did mention, you know, I literally went like more than half of positive, you know, that whole video. I literally said that I'm hoping for Battlefield 1 to have a successful release and I'm hoping for the Battlefield 1 game to be a top 3 contender for the best FPS game of the year. And how negative does that sound? And also in the videos on both of them, I did mention if Battlefield 1 does have a collector's edition, I will be buying it. They deserve my money. They got my pre-order. So I don't know where all the negativity came from, but I support Battlefield 1. I'm hoping for this game to be a very successful game. So there you go. There I said it in the beginning of the video so there's no excuses to be you know leaving dislikes now so anyways moving on back to the topic which is about my wish list you know i'll be starting off with the weapons first because this is like the core game the core mechanics of the game and uh, without this you know i'm pretty sure the game would not be that entertaining so um back in battlefield hardline and battlefront you know they were pretty much terrible with the weapons battlefront did not have any customizable weapons and battlefield hardline were super limited on the stuff about the weapons you see they only have four weapons per category four weapons shotguns assault rifles uh, snipers and smgs that's all they had and then they had the lmgs on the floor that you had to pick them up in the map like it was just I don't know why they did that but it was very limited and also the customization was very limited too it was, didn't have like merry variables so it, i wasn't really entertained you know i'm hoping for battlefield one does not have the same problems because that would really ruin the experience i will feel like i'm a caged animal like let me free you know let me do my own thing because I, I like to customize my own guns in battlefield 4 to my own liking to my own you know comfortability like that's what i want in battlefield one uh you know allow me to customize the attachments the sides the grip the stock and also you know the, 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 the tip of the gun you know allow me to customize all that because you know that's what's gonna bring in more entertainment value and that's gonna make you know players feel more comfortable within the game like you want to make an assault rifle feel like an SMG all right let me customize my gun to an SMG you know SMG style or let me make my gun a little bit more better on the long range side and you know take down people from long range like that's the best way to go do not limit yourself on the weapons guys so um, battlefield one devs you know please do not limit ourselves on the weapon side please and i do know that battlefield hardline has recently been adding a lot of weapons and i understand you know i understand but my experience in the vanilla battlefield hardline i did not have a good time Despite doing great in the game, you can search me up in Google. Uh, just search me up at uh, Joking John 74 Battlefield Hardline stats. I did super good in the fucking game. So you cannot tell me, oh, you probably sucked in the game. Like, no, I actually did pretty much well in that game. So, um, anyways, uh, moving on from the weapons now, the maps, man, they better be large scale. They better be larger than Battlefield 4, but not that large because I know people can get lost all the time. So. I don't know, but be very detailed, you know, that's what I want, like, be very detailed, and since it's trench warfare, shit, go crazy with the trenches, man, I don't mind, and the way people play nowadays, I mean, they'd rather camp than rush sometimes, so, um, well, that's usually Call of Duty's, but Battlefield 4, you know, I've seen a lot of campers lately, so I don't know what's going on there, you know, Battlefield, but your community right now has been infected with the Call of Duty virus. So, uh, get rid of it, guys. Make sure you start playing the objectives. So, with the Trench Warfare, for sure it's going to be comforting, you know, it's going to create comfort around the noobs, pretty much. But at the same time, you know, a lot of rushes, a lot of, you know, veterans of, of the game, they're going to take advantage of this whole situation and watch this, you know, in the future. I'm pretty sure a lot of YouTubers out there are going to rack up like 10 kills back to back because they're all camping in the trenches. So, I mean, just go crazy with the trenches, man. And, you know, let us do our thing. Our rushers, the rushers are going to own in this game, I'm pretty sure. 
And uh, moving on to the next thing that I really want to talk about, which is about the vehicles. Please go crazy with them. Do not limit yourselves up in the vehicles, because I know they did that in, in Battlefield Hardline. Um, I know they had like regular cars and everything, but you know, there wasn't that much to do. So please do not be like that. Please be more like Battlefield 4. You know, allow us to have, you know, gun turrets on top of our vehicles, you know, on the Jeeps. I know they're going to be Jeeps in that freaking game. And, you know, I cannot wait to see what the hell I can do with it. And hopefully there's motorcycles too. So, um, yeah, you know, be more like Battlefield 4. You know, everything is supposed to be like Battlefield 4. Because Battlefield 4, I feel like that's the final product they can offer for Battlefield. So, um, if they can do the same thing, because I'm enjoying this game right now. If you play Battlefield 4 right now on your console, on your PS4 or Xbox One, you can notice that they already fixed all the bugs. They freaking went to the, to, all out to fix all the bugs and uh, to make the maps look good. And they actually did it. So, um, for those people who have not played Battlefield 4 and, and, you know, and only saw this, you know, buggy mess since the YouTube, you know, from the YouTubers who don't have any experience with Battlefield, you're missing out on a lot. So, um, yeah, if you're just going to jump into Battlefield 1 without watching what the hell is going on in Battlefield 4 right now, you're pretty much missing out on a lot of the experience. So, make sure you test it out. I'm pretty sure Battlefield 4 right now costs like at least 10 or 15 bucks in, in the store, so you cannot give me any excuses. Anyways, um, the things that are, you know, pretty much that I really want, you know, from top to bottom, number one, the weapon customization, number two, the maps to be very detailed, uh, number three, go crazy with the trenches, <laughs> seriously, go crazy with the trenches, uh, four, please have the same amount of game modes for Battlefield 4, please, as, as Battlefield 4, have Rush, have Conquest, have Airstrike, you know, where pretty much the planes go up against each other, have a lot of game modes. And also make the, make sure the servers are working on day one. I don't want it to be like a Battlefield 4 debacle. So fix the bugs, fix the glitches before releasing the game. But somehow I do have a feeling they might be rushing the game. I'll probably talk about it in a separate video though. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, I'm not sure. But it's going to be pretty soon that uh, I'll be talking about how you know Battlefield 1 might mess up on the servers. So um, that video is going to be coming up pretty soon. So that is it guys, that's all I wanted to talk about, you know, my, my things that I really want in the game, the, the things that I really don't want, and, um, you know, I'm pretty sure this is what everybody, you know, wants. You know, my list is similar to everybody's, and um, the reason why is because that's how we want it, you know, because we want to have freedom in the game. We don't want to be very limited. So um, that is it guys, if you guys got any opinions about this whole situation, what do you guys think about Battlefield 1, um, you guys support it, and oh, and by the way, I'll be buying the collector's edition if there's any, like I said in the beginning of the video. So um, that is it guys, make sure to subscribe for more, you guys want to see future Battlefield 1 gameplay.